You have come tonight to the most fabulous and celebrated place in the world. Here on the plateau of Gizeh stands forever the mightiest of human achievements. everything becomes minute and insignificant. Man is an insect. The face of Kefran has come down to us sculpted in green diorite streaked with white. A rare stone he brought back from an expedition. Here he is, close to us, in the guise of the Sphinx, carved in rock near his tomb. of this necropolis, let us stand by a tomb like a thousand others, that of the mother of Cheops, and in it, by the litter marked with golden hieroglyphs, which she had prepared for the eternal journey by her son's side. Thus, the image of her beauty came to us in stone. Thirty years old, and he died. Your dawn, O living Atan, takes my breath. You possess my heart. You are the maker and giver of all things, and men live by your grace. Atan living and life-giving forever and ever. And tender, Tutankhamen died not yet twenty after a reign of six years. But three thousand years have not yet withered his fine, youthful face, nor tarnished the treasures gathered round him in his unfinished tomb of the Valley of the Kings. Today, the world marvels at them. Rosetta, one of Napoleon's officers. 
officers discovered a stone, a monolith, bearing an edict issued by Ptolemy. The inscription was in Greek characters and hieroglyphs. This was the cornerstone of Egyptology. True, it still remained to interpret its message. First came an Englishman, then a Frenchman, Champollion, the true father of Egyptian philology. He was so inspired as to decipher the lost tongue of ancient Egypt from a few mysterious hieroglyphs. <coughs> then it was like a resurrection. From the funerary chambers to the peaks of the pyramids, hieroglyphs were born to a new life. Herons, lotus flowers, fishes, hares and grapes, the mysterious characters suddenly woke up, fluttered and sang like creatures of the fields as the sun rises. It is as if in answer to a celestial call of trumpets, old Egypt had risen from its grave, young and immortal, young, immortal, and rich in beauty, like Nefertiti. Oh, heart, why? If I go walking, you are there with me, everywhere, with every step. My hand is in your hand. Listening to your voice troubles my mind. My whole life hangs on your lips. For me, seeing you is better than eating or drinking. 